Hey everyone, this is FaZe and welcome back to my channel where I am back again with the Apple Vision Pro. I've done an unboxing video on this, I've done a video of me going over all the pros and cons of the Vision Pro, and also I've done a review on this from a work from home perspective and how it is working with the Apple Vision Pro in a remote work lifestyle. And that video was really appreciated by a ton of people, so thank you for all your love and support. And in today's video, I'm kind of doing a slight follow-up to that by digging into the best practices and settings to get the best work environment for the Apple Vision Pro. So without any further ado, let's begin. One of the first things you wanna make sure is that your Mac is running Mac OS Sonoma, the latest software update. So first things first, it's very important that you're in a bright lit environment because if you're not in a bright environment, it's not going to work and perform properly. Here's my MacBook, so I'm going to turn it on. All right, so here is my Mac book turned on. Now, what's supposed to happen is that a connect option or a connect bar will pop up and you basically click on the connect option and you will now have the screen replicated on your Vision Pro. But as you can see, that option isn't really popping up for me, but that's fine because another way of replicating your Mac screen is looking at the Vision Pro, bringing up control center and then control panel. And then you see that third icon right there, Mac virtual display. You want to click on that, select your computer, and before you know it, your screen is now going to pop up right here. So there you go. So here it is, and it looks really, really nice. And I've said this in my review, I have a 30-inch monitor, and I've completely basically stopped using that ever since I got my Vision Pro, because this is amazing. And I like how I can, I can take it and make it bigger, smaller. You can grab it and place it somewhere else. So that is really, really cool. Now, when you are using your Mac virtually, you can use your entire keyboard and trackpad of your computer. You don't need any other additional accessories. Now, let's say you don't have a Mac, but you wanna use Outlook and Gmail and Safari and all these other apps. When you're doing actual heavy work, you need a keyboard and a trackpad. So you can get a Bluetooth keyboard and trackpad. Apple recommends that you use theirs and it works perfectly. So for example, let's say I have Safari opened up, I can literally take my trackpad and make it bigger. I can move it around. So once I have my Mac connected or you have any other trackpad or uh, keyboard connected, you can literally use that for all the other apps on your Vision Pro as well. One of the first things that I recommend that you do is you go into settings and then you wanna go into displays. When you're working with such a big canvas, it basically helps the workflow if everything is also bigger. Because when you make the screen bigger, you also want the icons to be larger, the text to be larger, so everything's easy to read and see. So right now we're in the default settings of 2560 by 1440. You also have this, which allows you to have more space, right? But I don't think you need that to be honest. What I recommend that you do is you go to 1920 by 1080. I don't know if you notice the difference. If once again, let me go back to 2560, which it's currently set on. And let me go to 1920 by 1080. You are still having a high dev full 4K experience, right? But what's happening is everything is getting bigger. So the icons are much easier to see. The text is easier to read. And that's better when you're working with in the Vision Pro. Let's take this and let's bring it forward. Look how clear everything looks, right? And if I go back to 2560 by 1440, everything becomes much smaller. So it's still full high dev, but I'm seeing everything larger on the Apple Vision Pro. So this is the setting that I highly recommend. Also guys, one more thing that I wanna recommend is that you can increase the size of your cursor. When you're working with such a big canvas, it's very easy to lose control of where your cursor is at. So the way you can do that is go into accessibility, then go into display, then go into pointer size, and see you can make this as large as you want. It just makes a huge difference because I can actually see my cursor on this large screen. And it makes a big difference when you're working. So that's a, a small tip and advice that I would recommend for all of you guys. Now, a couple things to note is one, you can have multiple desktops. So you can have multiple windows like you see right here, right? But it's, you can't have one window here, another window here, another window there. You're basically confined to one screen 
and still just, you know, go through different windows, but hopefully with additional functionality and, and features, uh, we'll be able to have different windows um, throughout our virtual space. That would be really, really cool. And I hope that arrives in a future update. So another thing that I wanna mention is audio. When you are watching something on your MacBook, right? And you're replicating it on your Vision Pro, the audio is not going to come on your Vision Pro. Your, the audio is gonna come straight from the speakers of your MacBook. So let me show you what I mean by that. So I'm gonna click on this video. Please welcome to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about the all-in Apple Vision Pro that I've been using quite excessively for the past few So the audio is coming from the MacBook. It's not coming from the Vision Pro uh, speakers. That's not a you know deal breaker by any means, but what I, I do wish that that was not the case. I wish I could hear it from, from the speakers of the Vision Pro. However, if you wear AirPods, then yes, you will hear everything in your AirPods. So make sure your AirPods are connected to your Mac. And let's say you move on to another window and you're watching a movie or something, and that's coming straight from the Vision Pro app, then you're gonna hear the audio from the Vision Pro app. The moment you go back to your Mac, it's gonna it's gonna bounce back. It's it's basically using the Apple handoff feature where you're watching one thing, the AirPods are gonna get the information from there. The moment you jump to another application, it's gonna pause the audio from there and go to that other app. So that is something to know as well. All right, so this basically wraps up my uh, quick video on best tips and practices when working from your Vision Pro. I hope this video was helpful. Please comment below any questions or any thoughts that you may have. Subscribe if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you next time.